Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss and briefly about function. In short, it is called FC. In last video, we have discussed about organization block. In that organization block, there is a block, it is called OB1. OB1 is a cyclic execution block that will execute again and again. Once it is complete, it will start execution again. That is called free cycle execution. Think if you have hundred of equipment and you program all that equipment logic in OB1. So it will be large and it is difficult to find out the logic actual location where it is located, where I have program. Maybe you you made the program you you can find easily. But think if someone made and you want to check that logic. So, better to split your program in equipment wise or sequence wise with some equipment. So, to split you need the function. So, function is a block where you can write the program. But that function has no memory to store its data. To store the data you need the data block or other memory tag. Suppose I have create here, here you can see the organization block, function block, function data block. So if you create the function, it will take in automatically the next available function. Here it is taken already fc1, so it will take another function, here you can give the symbolic name, here like this, cyclic execution, here you can give the motor, ok okay here also you can if you click during the during the create of your block you can give the author name family suppose symmetric manager name of feeder most of the program here you can see program block has no header you can give the header name okay also you can rename your function parameter by using just click on fc and right click object properties ok here you can rewrite your symbolic name symbolic comment again here attributes so many things you can do here ok now here if you create the logic here sub as like this function m 10.0 m 10.1 10.2 here i have written as the simple doll start this is a stop button start button and this is the output coil and here we have hold the command when you release the start it will hold by the output coil okay you can create your program here by adding the network just click new insert new network new network it will create again and again by just inserting okay and you can take the bit logic from here just drag and drop or clicking here and this is empty box this is empty box you can write by just if you know the symbol here this is hash mark means it is a intermediate output this is less than equal to as integer function okay okay also you can use the inbuilt function that math function integer function this is a function see when you call the function here it's showing a red mark red mark means it is a function it is not a function block function need always a actual parameter this is called a actual parameter here you have to give your parameter value here just 60 in put here 34 this is your actual parameter and here inside the block it's called the formal parameter in one in two is called the formal parameter out also called the formal parameter so 
it is a input formal parameter it is a output parameter formal parameter so in function you need the actual parameter so here if you give uh, another temporary variable or the memory variable or the output qw suppose 200 okay it will store it will send but inside that block inside that block it will not store any data when this block will execute from network 1 to 2 how it is execute normally in semantic manager or siemens it will execute from top drop if it if you use the ladder it will execute from left to right so drop to bottom left to right it will execute so when it will execute network 3 it will check the input parameter here there is a the logic inside that add underscore i it will take the decision by by this logic and put the value decision value in qw 200 after after the execution there will be no value inside that block but if you want to store the value of that block you can use the data block or any memory tag data block tag or memory tag okay this is about the function in short 